than me. Thank you very much. shopping. If you say so. But, um, thank you. I was so busy searching through the books. I, I'm sorry if I ignored you. Um, I'm sorry I took so long. This place has so many interesting books. I was having a bit of trouble deciding. Do you read much, Senpai? I love manga too! My bookshelf is full of shoujo manga. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes. I think it's because I can relate to her. Oh, I'm sorry! 
This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, Senpai? Is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? Oh, what a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. Oh, um, well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. I want to stop being so afraid of everything. I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Taka Nozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks. But I'm always so scared that all I can do is nod. Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So, whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that face. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you. who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. Do they not know where they are? That's right! I agree! This is supposed to be a place of learning! And they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council, that kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school! We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. for a while, so you don't need to wait for me.
just me, or is the air conditioning in here too high? I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? I'm going to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there. Are you on your way over from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down in a cafe and chat a little? Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not gonna bite. No, please stop. Uh, senpai. Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, don't tell me that you're with her. <laughs> no, I thought I had a chance since she looks so plain. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to hit him for a second. I wouldn't want you to get into a fight because of me. But just now, you are so... Um... Uh, you've already saved me, so... I'm not scared anymore, but why am I still shaking? That does make me feel a lot better. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm fine now. who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? Senpai. Oh. Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. Uh, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. about such a weird topic. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but... I can almost look them in the eye, but with you, I... I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. Oh, your hand. So rugged, strong. 
strong. Warm. <sighs> it... it's almost like... we're a couple. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said something so inappropriate. Uh, um... Uh, should we get going? new ones. Oh! All of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each! That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait! Is this... It is! I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever! This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. That means... 18,000 yen total? What should I do? Well, it... it's kind of... expensive. I can't afford it with what I have right now. And I don't want to go and take money out of my savings. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what! I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or I'll get them by the time I graduate. I I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness. Or friends. That is, until recently. Oh, don't worry. I was just talking to myself. But I do sort of understand how he feels. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. feel like there are so many things in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. Excuse me. collection. Uh, please still be there. Come on. Wait. Machini, they said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. All right, the money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. 
You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... Senpai? Y yes I think so, too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh... Th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I... I couldn't stand up to them, but I... I, I didn't take anything. Y yes you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? Sorry, I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. So there's no way they could have that much money, since her mom only works part-time. See? How could it not be her? And with such an innocent face, too. Huh? Who even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me. This is the library. Please show some respect. Let's go outside. Well, we can finish talking there. I c couldn't find any books. Let's go. You heard all that, right? There have been rumors going around my class. The only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you. I don't really have anyone else I can count on. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. 
I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. I have to go now, Senpai. Excuse me. Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good, you're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I... I... Uh... Senpai. Okay, I can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much! That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi? All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I'm so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault 
Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> No, I'm not. Remember when I said, I can't allow that for the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Huh? What did you say? Oh, I'm so happy! Feels like something out of a manga. Um, uh... I hope we continue to get along well together. apologize to the student council president. Um, is it okay if I ask you to wait by the school gate? I'd like for us to be able to go home together. I wanted, remember? I bought all three. I blew my whole allowance, but it was definitely worth it. This book is by the same artist. If you're interested, you can borrow it. Just promise to think of me when you read it. Oh, no, no problem. I've read it so many times that I've practically got it memorized. earlier. She said she has to stay late at work. And I, I've heard that there have been assaults on women in this area recently. Uh, I really don't want to be alone. Please stay. Just one more hour? I, I don't have to spell it out, do I? C come on! I was just using that story as an excuse. I want you to stay! Or 
to be more specific, I don't want you to go back to your dorm. There's so many attractive girls there, like the student council president. I know you have to go back eventually, but... Could we be here, together, for just a little longer? I want you to stay. I just need to know that you only have eyes for me. Get home and rest before it gets worse. Right now, I... Um... Oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? Uh. People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. <laughs> I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to be able to like myself more. And I want you to like me more, too. I want to be the first one you think of. That's why, um... I... love you. <sighs> what am I saying? I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. W well then, please excuse me. But maybe next time... We could go home together. I have so many places I'd like to see, and I want to visit each and every one of them with you. 